Hey, my friend, today let's explore how to make better melodies on guitar. Because what I don't like of most guitar teachers teaching beginners on how to write their own melodies, they will say, you have to identify the key of your song and then create your melody in the scale of that same key. So if my key is C major, I should create my melody using the C major scale. That way, I make sure that I don't play any wrong notes and these are all the right notes that are going to fit on my key. But what I don't like with this method is that it creates melodies that do not tell a story, that don't go anywhere, and most of the times, it just sounds robotic or like an exercise or like noodling in a scale. It's gonna sound somewhat like this. It's, uh, it's not making me feel anything. It's not going anywhere. It's just tension and resolutions inside of the same scale. There's actually a much better way to approach making melodies. So instead of focusing too much on the scale of your key, focus on highlighting the chords of your chord progression. So how can you do that? You just have to identify chord shapes around your fretboard and play around those to make your melodies. So to show you how to do that, we're gonna play a melody and analyze it uh, of one of my recent songs called Salvation. So I'm gonna play it here, but if you wanna hear the whole song, I'm gonna put a upper card here. So the melody goes like this. <laughs> So that melody brings you through a journey, right? It's night and day compared to... Right? It's because I highlight the chord. So let's uh, analyze what's happening here. Just the beginning of the melody. If you're looking at this... What does it look like just by looking at it? It's an A minor chord, an A minor bar chord from the fifth string. So I'm highlighting exactly the notes of my A minor chord here. And then I stay here and the next chord is an F chord. So you see, I'm highlighting the third of my F major chord and then the fifth. I have a little passing note, which is not in my chord, but it's just in sandwich between both. And then the rest of the melody, once again, the chord underneath it is a G chord. So I'm staying very close to the chord. So you see, just by analyzing the first three chords and the notes that are on top, you can see that my melody follows the chords really closely and because of that, even if I don't play my melody with the backing track uh, at the bottom, you can still feel the, Im the chords that are implied underneath just by playing this. Like you feel the chords just by the melody itself and that's a sign of a good melody. So you see, you can find, in my case, I could have played at so many places if I want to highlight, for example, my A minor chord. I could have played here or maybe here or maybe here or here like I did. So your first job is to identify many uh, chord shapes all around the fretboard to make sure that you can play your melody in a range where it fits the best 
on top of your pa uh, your backing track or your band or uh, anything you're playing on top of and it helps a lot but now if you want to go a little bit further you can not only highlight the chords but highlight the cool movements or suspensions or embellishments in your chords so as you can see in my chord progression in the backing track I played many many chords with sus4 suspensions on them so we're gonna go through really quickly on the the chord progression on the song it's a, a minor and then F G and then C sus4 that results on C then we've got a minor then we've got E sus4 that results on E minor then we got D minor G sus4 that resolves on G and then D minor again, F and G. And we go back to the top. So you see, I have three times in this song a sus4 suspension on my chords. On the C, on the E minor, and on the G. So I made sure in my melody to highlight that little sus4 suspension that resolves on the chord all the times because that's the best movement to highlight in your chords to to make uh, to to make the listeners feel the chords and the harmony through the melody so on top of the c i play this so you really hear the the correlation between Right, so that's highlighted in the melody. To, on the on top of the E sus4, I played. So I highlighted in the melody the 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 four suspension, the sus4 suspension. Then I resolved on the fifth of the chord and back down to the minor third of the chord to replicate it. And on top of the G. I play this. So you see, each time I highlighted the little embellishment on top of my chords. So if you want to go further and you want your melodies to be more emotional in this way, you can highlight the chords and it doesn't have to be sus4. It could be sus2, sus4, any kind of suspensions or tensions or extensions in your chords that you want to highlight at a certain spot in your melody you can do it so you see the principle how you can go have a melody that goes somewhere compared to just sticking to the same uh, scale so promise me that when you want to write melody Follow the chords instead of sticking to the scale all the time. And if you enjoy this uh, little lesson and you want to go further and you want to learn how can I follow the chords, how can I create beautiful melodies on guitar, this week I released and I launched my brand new online course on guitar melodies that's called Remarkable melodies and until tomorrow night at midnight I have a special offer on on the launch of the course uh, so you can check it out first link in the description box after tomorrow I'm gonna close enrollments to focus and love on my existing students and then I'm, I'm gonna reopen the course at full price in a few weeks so if you're watching this live you can click in the description box to learn more about it if you're into uh, melodies in this course we go super in depth I show you how to create great motifs and how to balance the curve and the contour of your melody we're seeing embellishments and phrasings and melody structures and seven powerful ways to expand on your motifs and we're writing chord melodies and like it's fully packed with awesome stuff on melodies so I hope that you will check it out if you uh, are into melodies and you want to write better melodies. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, au revoir.